How's it going, y'all? Um, got a bumper right here. I'm gonna basically try to do, um, you know, the best you can do type repair without spending a lot of money and time. Um, like I said, we're not gonna get it perfect, but we're just gonna try to get it to where it doesn't look like this, where it's actually fitting again, you know, fitting flush. It doesn't have this massive crack in it right here. So just gonna try to prove on what it looks like right now, and I'm gonna show you guys, you know, how to start and some tips and tricks to make this look a little better. <laughs> Um, as you can tell this thing is dented in pretty bad. Uh, just remember this is plastic so um, We can we can work with it. We can make this happen pretty easy. It's going to take a Heat gun uh, if you have a heat gun a hair dryer will work. It's going to take a little longer um, If you don't have that you can always just boil a pot, you know get a pot of boiling water pour on it uh, Just be very very careful that you don't splash the boiling water on yourself uh, But anyway I'm gonna put you on the tripod where we're gonna heat this thing up and I'm gonna kind of time lapse and show you all the process. It does take a little while. You wanna make sure you get a lot of heat. Uh, get every, you know, just make sure you get all this hot. But let's get started. All right, guys, like I was saying, you wanna heat this up thoroughly uh, just before you start trying to work it and push it back out. Um, sorry for the road noise and everything, but uh, we're gonna do our best. But yeah, we're just gonna heat this up and just kind of work it to start at the bottom, kind of come up and just make sure you're getting it you know evenly heated and you can touch the surface to kind of check if you're actually getting some heat in it don't want to sit in one spot too long because you'll burn your paint well not that it's really gonna matter but you don't want it to look any worse All right, guys, as you can see, we've, we got the majority of the dent out. Uh, it's still kind of bumpy and rough, and we're gonna further work that, just kind of heat the areas where it's really bad, like right here. Here, there's a nice crease. So just heat these particular areas and push them on the inside, and you can work this stuff out and get it fairly, fairly close. Like, so we're not trying to get perfect, we're just trying to get better than this. Now that you kind of got some shape back into it um, we're going to go to the zip tie trick I'm going to show you guys how to knock it out all you need is a bag of zip ties and a drill um, like I said all these tools are very very cheap I think you can get a heat gun I think they're like 20 bucks 30 bucks and uh, you don't have to have a a, uh, a fancy drill you can get like a little $19 one just a any drill instead of bits. I mean, this this repair would probably cost you like 50 bucks if you were trying to do it on a budget. But um, anyway, I'm gonna get to it and show you guys how to get started with this. At any point, I'm gonna show you up here and then I'll time lapse the rest. But I would prefer to start at the bottom since this is still kind of been out of shape. And as I work up with the zip ties and get it closer, I can heat it and kind of help mold it back to shape. Um, but basically, all you gotta do find you an area and just drill you a hole you kind of want to make sure you're not too close to the edge so it doesn't you know tear it loose see this is going to fight at the top pretty bad because it's still kind of deformed 
get it somewhat lined up. Drill you another hole. Try not to let the bit walk and eat your paint up. I said, you definitely want to start at the point of you know least resistance would be at the bottom. That way, it'll pull it up. You pull it together as you get closer to the top. But just wanted to basically show you all the process. Like right here, it's pushed up pretty bad. So, but yeah, you just gotta drill a hole, throw your zip tie in there. You can even do it in like the little X pattern. But it's fighting me too much. So I'm gonna just start at the bottom. When I get it close, I'll show y'all the final one up here at the top. <laughs> All right, y'all, as you can tell, not perfect, but definitely an improvement. <laughs> you know, this isn't the correct way to fix it. This is just a way to make your car not look so busted up, you know? Because, you know, we see you in traffic, riding around with your fender falling off and your bumper hanging off. We see you. <laughs> this just shows the rest of the world that, like, okay, I know my car is beat up, but I do care a little bit, you know? <laughs> to get this fixed correctly, you cost a good bit of money. Um, for me personally, I would probably just uh, wait until I found one being parted out on Facebook Marketplace and I would just buy the bumper and change it out. But for a lot of people, they don't have tools. But the majority of the world definitely has a, a hair dryer at least and you can get zip ties and a drill. They're not that expensive. But um, anyway, it's plus it's intimidating to take your whole rear bumper off. You know, sometimes, I don't know if it's a particular vehicle, but sometimes you gotta do a lot of stuff. You know, you might have to take tail lights out, who knows. Um, so this is just a way to kind of patch it. Don't put duct tape on it and all that crazy stuff. <laughs> this is still rigged up, but it does look better. Um, but anyway, it's like to help you out. Like up here, it kind of started getting a little tight. So I had to put the zip ties facing out, you know, it's so it, you can just trim this off. But I, just, I don't like to have the zip tie head sticking out. It's kind of like to have it flush looking a little nicer, but unless you would take the bumper off, that's just what we had to do. But you get spots where you really can't get the zip tie to go in there. If you curl the zip tie as such, you can kind of work it and then you can fish it out the other side. So it's just a way to kind of help you out and uh, when you get in a little tight spot like that. But I'm gonna continue working this a little bit and get the uh, some of these creases out like right here and try to make this fit a little, a little bit nicer and push it down so it's not gonna hit the, uh, the hatch when it opens. And um, yeah, I'm gonna work it a little bit then I'll show you all the final, you know, the final process as it's all done. But, also, make sure if you have flush cuts or a nice pair of scissors, it'd be better. 
but make sure you cut these little stragglers off unless you're just cool and you want them to have you know be hanging out like that I could never pull that look off myself because these things there we go yeah as you can tell like I said it, it's definitely pretty you could probably even put your your um your reverse sensor back in there if uh it wasn't totally destroyed like in this situation <laughs> All right, y'all. It's, uh, it's definitely not perfect, but it's an improvement. It looks a whole lot better from, you know, the majority of the, the sight line of the bumper. You really can't tell anything's really that messed up. So, it's, uh, it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm sure the owner will be as well, which is my mother. <laughs> um, so, this just helped her out a little bit so her bumper's not hanging off and just looking completely trashed and horrible. So, uh, it's, it's an easy fix. I think anybody can do this. Like... All you need is just some basic stuff and you can you know make your car look a hundred times better and this will work with any part of your car um, like your side your trim your molding stuff like that if it's bent you can heat it up you push it back in and zip tie it um, but you have to drill in the metal so that might be a little bit more intimidating for more people it really depends on how much you love your car and how much you can afford to fix at the time but anything's better than having your bumper like hanging off and just looking horrible so Usually don't film stuff like this, but I figured if it's worth filming if one person gets any kind of useful information out of this and helps them make the car look a little bit more presentable, it was worth taking the time to do it. And uh, like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you'll consider subscribing, sharing, and all that good stuff. And if you want to see more stuff like this, definitely let me know in the comments. And I hope this helps someone out that uh, needed had a car that needed a little bit of love. So, <laughs> but anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'm getting out of here, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.